Oh, what a night, My Eyes Adored You from the musical Jersey Boys, Frankie Valli songs in the Four Seasons. So they were pop songs before they were put into the Jersey Boys. Um, they're songs that you just, when you hear them, you know exactly, you know, if, you were, if you're uh, uh, of the right age to know where you were when those songs were released or, you know, um, My Eyes Adored You, you know, I, I think about it singing to... Um, uh, you know, maybe your first love, your, your kind of sweetheart that you fell in love with, or puppy love. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, um, the other one is a toe-tapping song. You just want it. They're feel-good. They're total feel-good songs from Jersey Boys. No, that's, that's basically what it is. Jersey Boys, feel good. Don't Cry Out Loud was originally a Melissa Manchester uh, hit in the early 80s. Uh, written by Peter Allen, who The Boy From Oz is about. I used to go... <laughs> I used to... <laughs> I'm making believe I'm telling you this. I, <laughs> I used to walk around the living room when my mother wasn't home with Don't Cry Out Loud, um, and my dad was at the office. I put the, the backing track, I saved up um, for $20, and I went to a... A store that sold backing tracks, and I bought "Don't Cry Out Loud." I put it on into the what the big, you know, the the cassette player at that time, and the big gramophone that they had that was a big piece of furniture, and I used to sing "Don't Cry Out Loud," belting it out until one day I turned around and there's my mother standing there watching me, and and I I was gobsmacked because I was it it was. <laughs> It was very camp and over the top what I was doing. And she just went, that sounds really good. Turned and walked away and let me be, you know, do it by myself. It's a beautiful song. It's a story about someone who wants to achieve something. And, you know, um, and if you should fall, remember you almost made it. Not to give up on stuff. It's got a great message behind it. Jody's one of those rare talents. When she walked into that first audition, she made me laugh. And she was completely herself. And immediately I looked at uh, Denise and I went, I like this girl. And there's something about her that I don't know what it is. So through the whole you know, uh, show, just watching her grow and watching her talent uh, uh, become more refined, obviously the opportunity arose to do a duet on the album and she was my first choice because I helped put her in the limelight. And why not give her something you know, else to... It's almost like it's a way... I don't want to use the word reward or anything, but it's like, it's, again, saying thanks. It's appreciating somebody's talent. Mm -hmm. And she's a, she's a great talent. She's got a great voice for recording. She has. And we did So Close, which is a... I had an idea to do uh, So Close, which was a, a song from the movie Enchanted, the Disney movie. And um, when I played it for everybody in the studio, they all looked at me and they went, I, we don't know the song, but when it was finished, uh, uh, they all, everybody was like, this is... Brilliant, great song. It, it just, it's a romantic, big Disney love ballad from a, a, a musical and it's fantastic. Unusual Way is from the, the most current musical that's in, that been in the cinemas called Nine. Uh, it was a great Broadway hit. We used to sing this song when I was in college. Uh, it's, a, it's a woman's song. And I like sometimes taking women's songs and doing them because they're really great songs and people are like, oh no, that's a woman's song. No, no, you can make it mean something different for yourself. Uh, so I wanted to take that song because we used to secretly sing it when I was in college. Um, it's a beautiful arrangement. Matt Brind has done a wonderful job with it. The orchestra sounds lush, fantastic, and the song itself is, it's actually quite a, a, a touching and poignant song but it'll also bring a little bit of a tear to your eye because I know, I absolutely know that a lot of people will, will identify uh, with those words. My mother's father, my papa, was, he used to sing uh, um, uh, um, You'll Never Walk Alone to my mother when she was a little girl and my mother then used to sing it to us when we were kids, when we go to bed at night. And that song, You'll Never Walk Alone, is, is a, a family song of ours. The Winner Takes It All is from Mamma Mia. It's also an ABBA song. I grew up with ABBA. My friend Laura Mickey and I, when I was a kid, used to go into the basement and we'd put on the song Dancing Queen, which is not from, you know, it's now from the musical Mamma Mia also, 
but um, and we would dance around. Uh, the winner takes it all for me. I've taken it out of context from what ABBA has, and I've sung it um, as a, a relationship song, which is how it is sung in the Mamma Mia. In Mamma Mia, it's just good music. It's it's a great track, um, and I've done it a little bit different to what it is in the show. But who can't love an ABBA song? There's going to be an iTunes exclusive of the song that I recorded called, uh, called, it's originally called The Wizard and I, which you'll all know from the show uh, Wicked, but Stephen Schwartz, myself, changed it to uh, uh, The Doctor and I. So that's a song that's particularly I've recorded to say thanks, and also it's something for my Doctor Who and Torchwood fans. And I love singing that song, because it tells how, kind of how John and Jack feel about The Doctor.